Now we are going to see a very interesting one and a very less known one that is collection validation. So while creating a collection, you can restrict or validate the documents before they get inserted into the collection. So this is a very cool feature and it's a very, very useful one, especially if you're going to deal with transactions. So while creating a collection itself, you can specify the structure and the required fields for a document. So this is a documentation page for create collection method. As you can see here, we have three fields that is validator, validation level and validation action. So these three are optional. We are going to see how to use them. This is the syntax for the create collection method. We got name and options and options we are going to see about validations. For validation level, we have three status that is off strict strict is the default one and moderate and similarly for validation action we have error it will throw an error when you are going to insert a document with a different structure and similarly we have warn assume a special offer in amazon which is valid to the customers whose total purchases is greater than ten thousand dollar and similarly the customers have to be from these three countries that is US, UK and Brazil. This is the validation we need to do before we insert a document to this collection that is Amazon special offer customers. So this we are going to implement while we are going to create a collection. So let us see how to do that. I'm going to use a Robo 3D client which is well known as RoboMongo client for this because they have given a simple wizard to do the same, so the step one is to create a collection. I'm going to use a wizard here, right click and create collection. Yes. So on clicking this advanced, you can see a validator tab here. You have two options that is validation level drop down and we have validation action drop down. Let me go with the default. So the validation level is going to be strict and the validation action is going to be error. Now we have two conditions, right? So I'll be using the AND operator. The first one is going to be the total purchases has to be greater than or equal to 10,000. So it is the GTE operator and 10,000 done. The second one is the customers from these three countries are eligible. That is US, UK and Brazil. So I'll be using a in for that. Done successfully. Let me validate this JSON. Yes, it's valid. Now I'm going to save this one. Before saving, let us recollect what we have done. We have created a collection and we have used the wizard which is provided by RoboMongo client. We have given the condition for validation here. We had two conditions. That is the customer's total purchases must be greater than or equal to 10,000 as well as the customers must be from these three countries. So I have used the AND operator and for this 10,000 I have used greater than equal to. For checking the countries I have used the IN operator. So done successfully. Now it's time to test. So let me insert a valid document first.
yes successfully inserted now it's time to check whether it's working fine or not so for an invalid document it must throw an error yes as expected we got document failed validation error so the document hasn't got inserted only the valid ones gets inserted So if you view the collection, you will be having only two records which satisfies the validation condition whereas all other documents have been marked as error. So this is how document validation can be done in a collection.